Jen and Jamie on a Thursday. Right. Hey there, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy snowy New oh, Year. Oh, my goodness. We, we Winter, so spoiled. Winter is hitting all this week. Nothing, and we're like, yeah. Now it's snow and cold. God's like, but so it is really pretty outside today. It is. Really, it's a great really view. As you can see, we are Jen and Jamie here on a Thursday. Yay. So we have just a little bit of time between the new year and when Lent starts. So we it's decided, I know, we decided to bring back one of our favorites with our fellow Lunchians. And we are going to go back to <gasps> what's in the lunchbox. All right, so we are coming to you live from church, not the cafeteria, because, get this, we actually had a thought behind this one, because we are talking about gifts. So we reached out to you guys on Facebook and to our preschool classes to see what their favorite Christmas present was. Why did we ask that question? Well, because last week we just wrapped up Epiphany and we saw that the wise men who traveled from afar brought Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So there's like the tie. Uh, so we're gonna see what your favorite Christmas present was and we're gonna figure out how we can relate it back to the Bible. So are you ready to join us? That's why we're coming to church because church is where we receive the very best gifts that we need for our salvation, but also for the week um, in between attending church. So. We are sitting here because it's a good reminder of all the gifts we receive from our Father in Heaven. So, with that being said, let's go and find out what's in the lunchbox. All right, Jamie, here we go. It's a Barbie dream house. Whoa! Whoa. That definitely wasn't my favorite gift, but... <laughs> no, but this would have been one of my favorite gifts. I was going to say when I was when little. When I was little, because I loved Barbies. Barbie dream house, obviously one of the preschool kids, mm -hmm. um, had commented that this was her favorite gift that she got. And obviously, <laughs> yeah, look right. at, I mean, wouldn't want a dream look at this house. There's I kind of want to go play. I mean, there's there. a slide that goes mm -hmm. into a pool and it comes like off the bedroom. Yeah. I mean, which in real life would be a nightmare. I don't want that many people <laughs> in my bedroom going down a slide. But how fun would it be to get up in the morning and go down the slide? And everything's so big. And it's Lots of room. Yes. Wow. I mean, I, tons of space yeah. for her and Ken and all, all of friends. them. Skipper to come hang out. Yeah. I mean, everybody wants to be part of the dream house. Part of the dream house. Mm -hmm. There you yep. go. So, Jamie, how did we relate Barbie's dream house? <laughs> to the Bible. All right, so my first thought went to a song. Can you believe Ooh, it? Yeah. What? I uh, know. Went to. I will sing oh, it for okay. you. So it went to the song because you mentioned there's lots of rooms, mm -hmm. and so it made me think of. I cannot remember who sang it off the top of my head at all. Yeah. It's. We'll gonna, find it. We'll, we'll we will put find the link it down below. It. <laughs> but it's um the refrain's like it's a big big house with lots, lots and lots, lots of, of room, a big big table with lots, lots and lots of food. Ooh. Wow, you went old school, I Kayla. Know, like, <laughs> like and then it goes into, in my father's house. So, John chapter 14 says, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that you that where I am, you may also be, and you know the way to where I am going. Mm -hmm. So we just got done with Advent mm -hmm. and Christmas, where we talked about Jesus' birth, but also his second coming. Mm -hmm. And because of that, and getting our hearts ready for <laughs> Lent, coming up in a few weeks, we know that God has prepared a place for us in heaven. And in that place in heaven, there's many rooms Lots and lots of room. Even more than Barbie's dream house. Even more than Barbie's dream house. Even better than a slide coming off of your bedroom into a pool. Even better because we don't have to clean it. <laughs> or furnish it. Or like, furnish this it. This would be a nightmare to think of. Or assemble them. it. Oh, we man. don't have to do anything man. for it. God has done it all for us. He has prepared a place for us. I am sure that our preschool friend's parents prepared <laughs> this toy right. for her. Mm -hmm. um, but even better, God has prepared a place for us in heaven that we get to go to someday. And we get to enjoy it 
all together yep. with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praising him, Woo! enjoying the banquet table with lots and lots of food. I can't wait. Nope. Oh, that we were there. All right. Well, this was a pretty first, a pretty exciting first uh, present that we pulled out of the lunchbox. So we hope that you will stay tuned next week and see what favorite present is in next week's lunchbox. We'll see you then. Jen and Jamie on a Thursday.